Hi, my name is Rich McHugh, and I'm formerly a systems administrator and now manage the Digital Scholarship Commons in the University of Victoria Library and teach in the Faculty of Education. The Digital Scholarship Commons helps the UVic community explore and express their ideas in ways other than text. And we do this primarily through offering hybrid flexible or high flex workshops. In one of our recent high flex workshops, we had learners participating from around the world, including face to face in the UVic library from across Canada, Chicago, Lagos, Nigeria, and Sao Paulo, Brazil. Global participation like this is a significant beneficial side effect of the work done to make our workshops accessible to learners during the COVID lockdowns. The COVID-19 pandemic was the catalyst for revamping our software skills workshops so that they could be delivered not only face-to-face, -face, but also online via video conference. Now that we're back on campus, we're offering newly updated hybrid flexible workshops so that both on campus and remote learners can participate in our workshops, either face to face in the classroom, remotely via video conference, or remotely on their own schedule using fully online self-directed learning resources. We initially anticipated that our HyFlex workshops would be relatively short lived and that we'd return to offering our on campus flipped learning workshops early in the fall of 2021. However, many students continue to take advantage of our video conference and self-directed workshop options. During the fall of 2021, 82% of HyFlex workshop learners participated via video conference and 18% participated face-to-face. -face. The registration rates were about 50% video and 50% face-to-face, but many who registered for face-to-face -face ended up attending via Zoom. The HyFlex format is an instructional method that combines face-to-face, -face, video conferencing, and self-paced online learning. Learners can choose how they'd like to participate in a, give, in a workshop, given their specific needs at the time it's being offered. David Rhodes, a HyFlex researcher, recommends using the flipped learning teaching method, where students typically prepare for the workshop by watching short videos and activities. Then, face-to-face -face workshop time is devoted primarily to hands-on activities to further build their knowledge and skills. The teacher is then available to assist and guide students who need help during the face-to-face -face workshop time, rather than primarily lecturing or demonstrating. This allows learners to move at their own pace, whether that be fast or slow. There is no forced march through the curriculum, which for some is overwhelmingly fast and others tediously slow. Central to the HyFlex model is the principle that no matter which instructional path a learner pursues, whether it be face-to-face, -face, video conference, or self-directed, HyFlex workshops should lead to the same learning outcomes regardless of the path. HyFlex workshops provide students with autonomy, flexibility, and seamless engagement, no matter where, how, or when they engage in the course. A key ingredient for effective HyFlex workshops is for the instructor to be supported by a colleague, assistant, or student. The assistant can monitor and support the online participants during the instructional portions of the workshop so that the instructor can focus only on face-to-face -face participants. The cognitive load on instructors who split their attention to teach both face-to-face -face and video conference participants is tiring or overwhelming. During the hands-on portion of the workshop, learners work through the activities they've chosen with the instructor circulating through the classroom to check in with learners. Time should be taken by the instructor to check in with each video conference participant to see how well they're doing and offer assistance. It's amazing how many online participants who will not speak up when a general offer for assistance is made, but will say they need help if individually asked. Some high flex challenges include Remote participants must have internet access and a computer to fully participate. It takes extra time to create HyFlex workshops. Leading HyFlex workshops can be difficult to do well without practice, and teaching without assistance can be very difficult. So in conclusion, the HyFlex workshop format has been an excellent teaching method that's allowed our software skills workshops to transition from fully online to a hybrid flexible model. HyFlex allows us to effectively and efficiently serve many learners who in the past couldn't attend workshops in our physical classrooms. And pandemic or no pandemic, we'll continue to offer our workshops in a HyFlex format to better serve our university community.